Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Boarding the Tainted Fort that has now been released, and also one of my first LEGO Star Wars 25th Anniversary set reviews, of course. So, on the front of the box screen here, we have the LEGO Star Wars logos, and also that bluish-silver kind of border, which representing that's 25th Anniversary for that, and picture of the set that there is, well, where it's kind of it in the exact hallway of the de of the Tanted Fort, which they oftentimes tend to do. But, and also all the mini things included, and also 25th anniversary logo, an exclusive, and a hint of the exclusive anniversary fig, Arc Trooper 5s, of course. And age recommendation 8, no, set number 75387, has 502 pieces. And then on the back side have that another, another version rendering of that again and both of the features of it and all the logos again and yeah. And now onto the manual of which was odd CGI rendering cover like they've been doing since mid 2022 of course. Then transition from plastic bags to paper bags and after the builder app. And then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then also 25th anniversary on the on the Lego Star Wars website, of course. And then also, how you can buy two of this set and expand it, of course. So, kind of nice that I mentioned that in here. With the that, then the last building steps, of course. So, first off to mention is the anniversary fig, Clone Trooper 5s, or Arc Trooper 5s. Oh, which quite nice, oh, which really nice printing all around, even side art printing, nice to see there, and also most of which kind of similar to the newer uh, Captain Rex minifig that came in the, in the great big uh, Venator, UCS Venator set last year, but, but of course with different helmet piece and so on, and also like the Captain Rex fig in that set has the side pauldron and of that, oh, which is good to see there. But however, the torso print leg printing all looks quite good for how that is. But as for the helmet printing, it was not quite accurate to how he is, but still kind of good for how it is. But at least they kind of tried. But if they didn't this fig again, I think it should have been a lot better. But, but yeah. Then, and of course, holding the two. Uh, uh, classic clone blasters that like we've been seeing since 2008 and then also I do have this uh, back uh, backpack kind of built to it like we saw on most other earlier arc troopers and all and then you can kind of see a slight bit of the back torso printing for that and, and also on the shoulder and it does have that unique shoulder pad to it which, as you can see, as of now, just kind of stands right out for that. But unless if you could figure out a way to, like, like weld it down towards for that. And also if I take the helmet piece off and you have know, the uh, face printing right there. Which kind of fitting to and matching to most other clone troopers. And also on the one side of which, if you notice the, like, little great marking on there which is actually sort of the clone uh com link or i mean health chip implant for that which in a couple episodes the clone wars kind of featured so that so nice kind of glad to see that there but then as for all the 25th anniversary figs of, of the line or which which comes on these little builds of which that which are these large plates and say 25 years of Lego Star Wars to there. 
and now these are which are kind of similar to the 20th anniversary figs we got back in 2019. And now, and also does have a 2x4 plate sticking onto that so you can connect it to both that and the other 25th anniversary figs. So now here's a little comparison with this one from the 20th anniversary. This, which, as you can see, well, this which was very few pieces, but this which one large plate to that. And of course, once again, kind of fitting all together for that, to kind of match up well for that. But of course, the downfall is this which was three pieces, this is one, or three plates, this is one plate. So I think probably like that just to cut down cost on that. Well, unless if this continued on into the 30th anniversary in 2029, well, I wouldn't mind. I think it can still work out there, well, or go back to how it was with the 20th anniversary, but maybe Zach's mean, but yeah. And that's about it with our Trooper 5s there. And now, on to the main bunch of figs for that. First up is Darth Vader, of which same appearance that we have been seeing for a good long time for that. Well, well however, both the torso print leg printing all look still good for that, and still having the side arm printing and wielding the red lightsaber, of course. And then next to which is Captain Antilles. Which kind of similar to, which is probably the same one that came in the uh, Tantive Four set in 2019 for that. And however, but also with Heat and both Rebel Troopers, uh, which not at all the like printing on both of them, but whatever. And of course, wielding the silver blasters for that. And also the classic helmet piece that we have been seeing for a long, long time. For that. And then, last of which, we have an original trilogy Imperial Stormtrooper, of which, which all of which kind of the same as it's been for a long time, but also, but whereas since you get two of the, the, that in this set, is both of which different face printings to them, just like we had with the uh, Imperial Armor Marauder in 2021. So at least nice to see that carry on to here as well. And then onto the back sides of all of them. Whereas I think, yeah, both of which do have some slight back torso printing, and Darth Vader of which slight back head printing for that. And of course, Captain and Tilly's, uh back head printing kind of fitting to his to him in this sequence then. And also Darth Vader, still a slight bit of that. But aside from that, this was quite good minifig selection, although it would be nice if this also could have included uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO, and possibly Princess Leia, also fitting to this sequence in the movie. Yeah, but maybe that would have been a little too much. But yeah. And I guess that is about it with the things here, and now onto the hallway, or, or Tampa 4 hallway it set itself. <clears throat> and this, just like the Dark Trooper attack set that we had uh, two years ago, oh, 2022, which just a little hallway part of it, but or part of the, the Tampa 4, unlike with that, which to that of the uh, Imperial Light Cruiser two years or uh, the year prior to that. And like some builds of which a lot of odd stuff going on on one side and this neat interior space on the other side. And, but unlike with that one which, oh wait, that did have a couple features, this one does. Which it does. So like, as for this one side of which which is one section of which the long technic brick of which that has the uh, pin holes in them which to obviously represent that when you get another one of this set then you can expand this hallway a little more for that but yeah then as for all the any cars all of this floor 
bits of which do are kind of colored with a few uh, plates on it, but also a few tiles and hybrid tile plate or tile plate hybrid ones, and also a few jumpers on which. But one good reason for that is where you can take an arc, arc trooper or just rebel trooper on it and just tap on it and let them fling off with of that. Uh, which obviously representing Darth Vader's force pull in both episode 4 and at the very end of Rogue One. And also, then also as has the this section here, which is, oh wait, hang on, let me see. Which I see this doorway build of which, which has those corner uh, kind of brick kind of, or corner slopes of which I say done quite nice, done quite well for that, especially like pointing in different directions and also with one, one by one tiles in there. Anyways, so do have a lot more those going on here, and but also these cheese slopes and tiles, all of which stickers to that. So you get quite a few stickers in this set. Then further down, which you get the gold bar pieces in uh, white. Get, well, a whole lot of them, uh, which good to use for mocking, right there. And also grill pieces acting as like uh, venting or something. And if you wonder what this clear cylinder or piece here is for, is so you can like put the Captain Antilles onto it and let Darth Vader force choke him. And, oh, which kind of thing that. And also, also like the uh, Obi Wan vs. Vader set from two years ago, 2022, for that. And then on this side of which, have this like little light bit on a tile part also on there and also just bricks and plates all stacked up and also a large panel piece with that is actually printed for that uh, which good to see there and on one side which a few more gold bar pieces on there and on this one side on the other side of it is if you wonder what those technic workings which i'll show in a minute and also this little jumper plate on here is where you can stand Darth Vader on to. Oh wait, hang on. And also what those uh, clear red and orange studs are for? Well, hang on. And also with those technique beams here which are held on to these a uh, couple rock bits that go all the way down to there and then to this other end of it, which I think is kind of random for that, but actually I think kind of like a, a what do you call it, a extra bit to indicate, show it in and out for that, but whatever. But if you notice this part of which, which can slide in outwards, but if look out from the front here, or in this view of which, you can pull on it and representing Vader's uh, entry. Or force entrance, or represent his entrance with the uh, doorway in game set in flames. Uh, which, so I think that which a good nice touch to this. And then also with this whole set, of which I see this one bit of which kind of tiled off. Well, in few spots for that. But then also, like, just random plates sticking up for that. Like, well, probably to make it a little more Lego feel to that, do it, but yeah. So, let me get everything together. So now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think this is a kind of good set. 
Smith Brown is like at least going to have like a larger, more extended version of the Dark Trooper attack set, but also has a other iconic bit in Star Wars, of course. But and of course, good cheap way to get uh, Captain Antilles without getting the extra large uh, Tantic Force sets. So which and also also workable as a neat display diorama set of which since if you're looking to put display this on a desktop or shelf of which well well workable for that of course then as for the exclusive fig art trooper five so which I say quite good one oh which great one to include for that and regardless if he could have been included in a random clone war set but at least having him here which a little better than nothing, but unless if there was a chance for that in the future, but yeah. And then although he, which which kind of makes this an additional five dollars, like most of the twentieth anniversary sets kind of did with those with their exclu exclusive mini figs, but yeah. But luckily this had, but although the base part did have very few lesser pieces than those did. Which to help cut down price, cut down price and so on. But yeah, it was at least still workable. But yeah, and then although wish the helmet print for him could have been a little better, but maybe that can be fixed up in the future. But yeah, but then the set as is, fifty five kind of steep for that. But although fifty would have been about as, or even forty five. Would have been about as fair, but whatever. But yeah, but at least I can still kind of forgive it. And so now, if you're looking to get this set for your, uh, for your Star Wars set collection, then definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get Arc Trooper Fives for your Clone Trooper Army, then definitely pick up this set. And also, if you're looking to get or continue your collection of the Star Wars Anniversary. Uh, sets and figs of which, including 25th anniversary here, then also definitely pick this up. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.